Hello and welcome back to the wild. So yes, hello and a very, very warm, literal warm, <laughs> welcome back to the wild, which is being brought to you from East Africa. So welcome. So I am currently away on a month long trip exploring, adventuring, photographing <laughs> parts of Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania. And it's going to be fantastic because since a little wee lass, I have been captivated and inspired by Africa. If you're like anyone who's grown up watching David Attenborough like documentaries or anything like that, you will have this like fond love to want to go to Africa as a photographer. It is just the dream. And to be here is absolutely incredible. So I'm currently starting this epic trip from Nairobi, which is Kenya. And tomorrow I will be making my way down to the Great Rift Valley where I will start the trip at the Maasai Mara and I'll be there for a few nights and it's gonna be amazing. I don't know what I'm looking forward to the most. It's the wildlife, the stars, because they're gonna be incredible. It's the Southern Hemisphere now. And, ooh, I'm trying to get tearful. That is where I'm gonna be going the next few days. So it's, it's, oh, it's so special to be here and I haven't got tearful on camera in a while. <laughs> but here I am because it means that much to me. It's, yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> So that gives you a breakdown of what's happening. I'm also going to be seeing the Serengeti whilst I'm here. I'm going to go to Burundi Impenetrable Forest and see mountain gorillas. I'm going to go to the Nile. There's so much to see and do. This is why I wanted to do some, some vlogs, not for everything, because I don't want to take up my time. But I just wanted to show you wildlife photography in East Africa. So if you're thinking about going, or if you just want to experience what it's like out here, I thought I'd share this journey because it's going to be a special one and I'll talk more about equipment, what I'm taking and what I'm using at another point so you don't get bored of my face. Um, <laughs> but for now, let's get on with this adventure. I'm gonna take you on the journey down to the Maasai Mara and I will see you there. After heading through the Great Rift Valley, we made our way down to the Maasai Mara where we were camping right next to the national park. Next to us, um, practically on our doorstep, was the local Maasai people, the original people of the Maasai Mara. And we were very fortunate and very lucky that we were given a special tour of their village, where we were shown what plants they use for herbal and medicinal remedies. They gave us a tour of their land. They spoke about their cattle and why it is so important and fundamental to their way of living. They also introduced us with a beautiful traditional dance and then we were given a tour of the actual village on the inside where they made fire out of sticks and just rubbing wood together and they showed us their huts on the inside where they're all made by hand and fun fact it's actually the women who make the homes they are left the task of building it completely by themselves and it takes them up to five months which is amazing and then it ended on a lovely song sung by the women and a group photo <laughs> enjoy the footage of that day
Okay, so in terms of equipment, before I left on my trip, I was doing a review for Fujifilm and they sent me the Fujifilm X-H2S uh, to test out and review. I bought it because <laughs> it was so good. I loved it and the quality and the finesse of the filming has been just incredible. So before my trip, I decided to take the plunge and get it because I didn't want to go away without it because I would have regretted it. So I've got the X-H2S with me which I'm going to do primarily filming and telephoto photos with it. Um, but that's why I've got that one. I've also got in my safe my X-T3, which will do photos. I'm not going to do filming on that. That's the X-H2S job. Uh, but I've still got my X-T3 because it's still fantastic for pictures. I've got this little camera here, which is the Sony ZV-1 for vlogging, just because it's light, it's easy. I don't want to take up memory on my filming for this face. I want to do my proper filming with my camera on the stuff I want to photograph, not me. <laughs> oh, lenses, I haven't even mentioned lenses. I only took three in the end because I didn't have enough weight, as mentioned. I've got the new 23mm F1.4 WR. I've got the telephoto 100 to 400 millimeter. And I've got the old school 56 millimeter F1.2 because I couldn't afford anything new <laughs> after buying this camera. And for you didn't give me anything. I was disappointed. I got my mini tripod and my big tripod. Um, and I got a different backpack, which is over there, which is the low pro tactic. So I really went all out for this because I thought this is about wildlife photography. This trip is about photography. So I wanted to make the effort with my photography. I really want to use this as a tool to just enhance my skills, really make the effort to get good shots and just try my best um, and get good footage for you guys and just for myself really and just challenge myself to make more cinematic stuff which I enjoy. Uh, so yeah, that's the setup. It's a lot of stuff. My bag was so heavy. <laughs> I think it came in like 12 kilos for hand luggage. I was like, oh, I was trying to put stuff in my bum bag to like make it really light. But it's fine. And of course, come on, essential, essential bit of kit is Everyone's got to have one of these on their safari. A safari hat! Yeah! I won't wear it like this because my hair is now blinding me. Um, but yes, on that note, <laughs> um, I will get going and get ready for this trip. And I will see you down wherever we are. I don't know where I'm up to, <laughs> but I'll see you there. Bye! So the rest of the afternoon was spent on an incredible absolutely incredible safari drive it was amazing i didn't get a lot of footage of myself obviously on the safari drive because i was so distracted by the wildlife and one of the first things we saw was giraffes elephants uh, hyenas a cheetah and it was just amazing and this was just day one and i was loving it so i was a bit distracted but here's some footage and photos from my first ever safari drive I think the first thoughts that ran through my head was just how, how is this place so incredible and so wonderful? There's just vastness of like wilderness and wildlife. I've never been anywhere quite like it. And it was incredible to see wildlife so close to you as well, like standing next to your safari truck and yeah, you could just reach and touch it. It was just amazing. You could like hear the sounds of the world, like the smell of like the buffalo. It's just all these details you don't get from seeing on a TV screen. And to be immersed in it was just the best experience I've ever had. And I think a few times I got quite tearful, but just from pure joy and happiness of where I was, it was amazing. This was one of my favorite moments. This beautiful cheetah was just sat 
watching the world go by, just chilling in the sun. <laughs> and it was amazing. It was so handsome and so lovely and a very special and priceless moment. So over the next few days, I went out to the Maasai Mara on a few safari drives. And as a result, I got a load of footage, <laughs> which is too much to share in one vlog. So continue on to the next vlog or hold tight for the next one to see more beautiful footage of the Maasai Mara where I saw lions and more cheetahs. Uh, yeah, keep an eye out. Goodbye for now.